Dear class of 2021, here's Fra from Sunny Can Journey and I am class of 2020. I want to share with you, through my own experience, what I understood from these tough times, things that I wished someone would have told me before graduating. Now, I don't know if you are a type like me that plans everything or one person that lives with carpe diem as motto, but maybe you have experienced at least once in your life that feeling when you have waited something for so long and you are just a small step away from reaching it. You know what I mean? Then, exactly in the end, when I was feeling that, everything seemed to go wrong. Since I was a little kid, I tried to plan my life as smoothly as possible. I knew what I wanted and I was figuring out how I could do all the steps I had to do to reach those. Along the years, I developed what I thought to be a great skill level in planning. I was planning everything, from what to buy from the store to my one, two, five years plan. When I went to university, I made a specific plan and the goal was to finish my studies in time. It was five years plan. Not every time things went as smoothly as I thought, but when this was happening, it was super easy for me. I was adjusting the plan and the steps and everything was still going towards the same goal. Because after all, it was all up to me. Then, when the date of the graduation in spring 2020 was getting closer, the pandemic came and we did the lockdown and all the new rules and remote, remote classes and so on. And this meant for me to delay my graduation. Because of this small delay, suddenly all the other plans that I have spent months to plan started falling apart. My family couldn't be present at my graduation ceremony, my graduation trip to Morocco was cancelled, I was going to move abroad uh, because I also had a rented apartment that was waiting there for me and I was also going to find a job there. Basically, COVID-19 changed everything for me, changed all my plans. My very first reaction was frustration and a very deep sense of unfairness, as could be yours. I couldn't understand why after planning so well, everything could be blown up so badly. After frustration came a bit more action. Uh, I tried to uh, plan more and more and more, but things were still failing. My mistake was that I had so much faith in uh, planning that I started to believe it was some sort of, I don't know, like scientific method for success, through which I could actually control my life as much as possible. But I was wrong, because there are things in life that you cannot always control, or stop, or change. They are bigger than us. What kind of make it, made it worse were my expectations. Planning made me visualize me, the moment and uh, the way I was reaching those goals. So when reaching these goals didn't meet my expectations, even the, the idea that these goals wouldn't meet my expectations, made me really disappointed. I understood what po probably for me are the best, the most important revelation of my life. The first thing is that in life, it's not always 100% up to us. A certain amount of uncertainty will always be there, sometimes more, sometimes less. The second thing is that even though it's not as you imagined or planned or expected, you shouldn't give up on your dreams just because they cannot happen right now. Trust the process and don't give up. Dear class of 2021, 
I cannot tell you how to feel during these uncertain times because every one of us feels in different ways. But I can tell you one thing and that's that you can always choose how to react. I didn't react well, especially at the start. My calming habit of planning became a compulsive over-planning and even then things didn't really change until I understood that I had only two things to do. The first was to accept the situation and the second was to adapt to it. Now, the question is, how can you accept it? Well, it's not necessarily something that happens overnight, but it's a decision. It's a process that starts to happen in your mind and in your entire self as the only way to go forward. Then the other question is, how can I adapt to it? What I think is that things should be handled one step at a time and when they actually happen. This year was a pandemic, but maybe in 10 years the field I graduated in is going through huge changes. Each of us have our own way to adapt to new things. What I do and suggest is first of all slow down. Find a way to calm my mind down from the overwhelming feelings and then make new strategies and be open to new possibilities. In the end, I graduated, I moved abroad, but I still cannot find a job. So I cannot find a job in the field. I graduated, then I search other things I'm good at. I make a list. Yeah, but I can actually do also this or this or this. And then this is already creating new possibilities. It's being completely open. So I can search jobs for other things I'm good at. And for example, this video and even this YouTube channel is one of the outcomes of that mindset. Because finally, I understood that uncertainty isn't always something negative. It can be a moment in which you understand something that you couldn't before, or that you change the course of your life, or even find your inner path. Uncertainty can also lead you to something really beautiful. Life is a surprise and maybe it's exactly that amount of uncertainty that makes it like it. Or it can even be an opportunity for us of question everything in life and in ourselves in order to build and to go towards something great.